Hey guys, and welcome to Starscape. Today, I'm going to be talking about what you should be doing in the first stages of the game. Uh, there is a tutorial in the game. Uh, it does tell you how to mine. It tells you how to do combat, but it doesn't tell you how to do them all well. So in these series of videos, I will tell you how to do stuff the best or most efficient. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about literally the first stages of the game. What you should get first, and where you should, where you should go with that. And also, where and where not to go. Because there are places you will die. So, let's get right into it. Now, obviously, character creation. I will skip this for all of you guys. Now, I've created my character, so I'm ready to go. So, what I'm going to be doing now is the tutorial. Now, I'm not going to show you the tutorial. Everyone does it. You'll eventually do it. Uh, so, I'll skip through all of this. If there's something I feel you guys need to see, I will show you. Now, as you can see, I'm done with all the tutorial missions. Uh, I have uh, 1.7k, but for the tutorial, I'm going to need more money because I need to buy two things, which I will show you. But to get my money, I'm going to go into here and talk to this lady right here and do a mission for her. You can mine to get your money. You can a drone hunt a little bit, but I'm going to be doing this because it's just quick, easy money. So I'm going to do the law enforcement, but yeah. I just wanted to unpause and tell you guys that you're going to need more money than 17k, which is what you get out of the missions. Alright, so now that I have uh, 2.3k, almost 4k, 2.4k, uh, I will go buy my first miner. Now, the first miner isn't that much, uh, but there is another thing you must buy with it. So, the miner you are going to buy going to be the otter the there's also the marlin but the marlin mines slower it, the only advantage it has over otter is its speed it's just faster otter mines faster uh it's upgrade upgrades into the honey badger uh it's just the better ship to buy and then you're going to want to buy the tractor beam and the tractor beam is very important this means when you shoot ores, instead of having to run into that ore, you can have that ore run into you with the tractor beam. So now I'm going down to the docking bays. And this next part, also pay attention if you're really new and don't know how to do much. So the tractor beam is an upgrade. And upgrades had have to be... Oh wait, I forgot. So you're going to have to go to assembly to... Uh, start to you just assemble it. it's lego set pretty much <laughs> so you assemble it you spawn it and you look at the the icon of the ship you press f it should be ri uh i don't know it's ability my bad it's ability but this is your ship menu you'll see all these upgrade slots targeter yeah you won't touch that too much focus uh those are just about shooting rig is like hull uh, hull boost, just basically stuff with like warping faster, making your hull more, or regen, shield regen, focus is just shooting. And then there's the skin symbol, lasers trail, these two you have to buy stuff to put stuff on so you shop. And then the symbol, uh, also that. But the skin, oh I forgot there is a skin for the shop too. I'm, I'm used to alpha skin, anyway. So you get in your ship, and uh, this is also very important. When you get your first miner, don't go to Bantam. It's pointless. Bantam has inferior ore. There is absolutely no point in going there. Now I'm going to personally going to go to Beta Quazad. Uh, you can go anywhere around the map. They're all pretty much just the same. You just this core area. Don't go into these red areas yet. I will show you what you got to do in those. And I'll also tell you where not to go. 
So I will go to Beta Quasad. Now that I'm warping to Beta Quasad, uh, I forgot, I don't know if you spawn right or warp right into the uh, ore field here. So we'll see. So we did. So we got lucky. Uh, so yeah, this is the ore field of Beta Quasad. There are drones that do spawn here. So be, don't go AFK. One thing you should never do in this game is go AFK. If you're gonna, if you have to go, log off. There's an option. Yeah, let me show you. So there's an option. Uh, ooh, right here. Safe log. You have to be, you can't be moving, but, oh, it's only available. Oh, I didn't know that. So that's for unsecure and wild, I guess. But for these ones, you're still going to want to log off because drones can still kill you. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is shoot an R and just mine it. That's it. Uh, that's it for secure mining. I mean, oh, I think tractor beam range is about 500, 550. So you just hold your tractor beam on it. And if it's coming towards you, boom, that's it. That's all you got to This is tractor beam. This is mining. This is all you need to do when you have an otter. You just shoot the ore. One to three come off. I'm pretty sure. Or I can't remember if it's one to four, one to three for the tier one ship. But yeah, th I mean, this is all mining is. You, I would suggest mining like this for a while just to get used to it. But uh, yeah, this is all mining is in the first sequences of the game. Uh, oh, I just got my new title, Rookie Miner, getting there, boys. But yeah, I mean, other than this, uh, if drones do end up spawning here, I'm kind of hoping they would so I could show you what to do. But you're pretty, depending on where you are, like if they're out there doing mining their own thing, I can still mine here, I just need to not get close. But if they're coming after me, I mean, I don't think you can outrun these drones. So you might as well just warp away and warp back in. Uh, don't underestimate drones. They will they will destroy you if you're not paying attention. But yeah, I mean, that's it for secure mining. Of course, you're not seeing a lot of Reconite here. Uh, they don't spawn too much in these systems. That's why next I'm going to show you how to do secure systems. So, um... Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So now I'm just mining Reknight to get a couple, a few Reknight ores for my upcoming trip. Obviously, you can see these both give two ore. So that's why these this ore is way better than the inferior ore, because inferior only gives one. So right now I'm getting six Reknight pretty much, because it's three ore times two. You get what I mean. But the reason I'm getting Reknight and Coralite is because I gotta create scanner probes, and scanner probes are a big item in this game. Every everyone should be using them if you want to get the good good ore. Now I think I said secure or unsecure earlier. What I meant to say is wild. Uh, I wouldn't mind too much in unsecure. I, it's it's just way better in my wild, and I'll show you uh, how to get to wild pretty fast. But now I'm going to shield. Uh, if there's a refinery and manufacturing bay there, I will stop there, but otherwise I will keep going to Citadel because I want to get scanner probes, and that's going to be very important when I go to wild. So, uh, well, I'll see you when I get there. So, now that I'm back in Citadel, I'm going to go land, and then the first thing I'm going to do is uh, run to... Uh, lower level so we'll go over there now so lower level will be this way it's important to look at signs because they actually show you where to go so let's go to lower level also cool thing if you hold control you can walk pretty cool but uh, what I'm gonna want to do is go to refinery and we'll go in there all right and then I'm going to want to refine these ores. I'm it shows you in the tutorial how to refine them. So, done. here you go. Yeah, that's how you refine ores. <laughs> so, then you're going to want to go to manufacturing. Oh. Alright. And then we're going to go in here. 
And then we're gonna get the scanning probe. Now, I would bring, I'm, I'm just making only five because I, I don't, this is a tutorial, I don't, I'm not gonna be out there for a long time. But if you are going out to, uh, if you're going out to be there for a while, or mine up a ship, or mine up an upgrade, bring like 20. 20 would be a good number to bring. Uh, th that's what I usually bring. Third, I mean, you can bring however much you want, but I would bring at least 20 to 30, because if you, because a lot of these systems won't have anything to mine in it. So yeah, I mean, bring bring a bit, bring a few. So I actually know of a wormhole. Uh, it's in Cleolot 76, so that's where I'm going to go. Wormholes are big, big, big in this game. If you want to have a fun time mining, it will get you out to wild so fast. Um, the only thing is it is dangerous because it is insecure so everybody else can see where this wormhole is. Uh, I don't know if it's still there, uh, but yeah, we'll go right to it. So I'm going through the wormhole now. Uh, so I'm going to doubt the trues. Now, see, there's a player. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be watching, and hopefully, if he's not around there, I'll be fine. But if he is on the other side in a combat ship, I'm gonna go right back around. So I'm looking around. I don't see anybody. All right. So I'm safe right here. But since there is a player, I'm going to warp out and go somewhere else. So I'm going to Gamma Dykesim. Uh, if there is a player, you can go right back around. Warp Disruptors won't stop you. And Warp Disruptors are the stuff that are uh, deployable that makes it so you cannot warp. So just watch out for those. If you see them, you're going to die, sadly. There's nothing much you can do in a ship like this. Uh... Now, drones don't drop warp destructors, only players do. So drones, you can warp right out, and you should. So if I get a scenario where, oh, hey, let's see. Oh, hey, there's drones. So, oh, oh. All right, so that's that's the Feralcan. Uh, th they're gonna protect me, but they're not protecting me. They're just fighting these drones. Pretty cool to look at, uh, but that's that. But it, say there's drones, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's drones. You get five seconds. Just warp out. Don't don't chance it. Just do what I'm doing. Just just leave. There's no point in staying there. You're gonna want to get it get to a safe place to drop those probes, and I'll show you how to use probes. So I'm warping into the planet. I'm paying attention. I'm not going AFK. I'm looking at the screen. Now there is no drones here, so I'm safe to plop down and warp disruptor. I'm still watching that player list because I don't want somebody killing me. So. For these, it's like a sonar type thing. You're gonna drag it around. Oh, so I, I'm onto something now. Look, boom. So that's a battlefield. That is not too good. Uh, it won't do much for you. There's drones there. So unless you're in a combat ship, there's nothing you do. So the SP is a spice platform. That's good if you have a hauler, but there are drones there. So. Unless you're in a Zubron, which is a one of the best, or is the best hauler. So, there we go, AT. A, anything starting with an A is a mining anomaly. AT is the small mining alarm, anomaly. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It's, it's definitely a good sight to see while you're mining. So, another AT. This is really good. I'm hoping these aren't mined out in a, another uh, battlefield. So, ATs are... Like the small mining anomalies, you'll see Coralite, Recnite, Jellium, possibly Axnit, and Narcor and Red Narcor. And I will tell you what what those are when I see, if I see them. So, boom. Great anomaly. This is a good, healthy anomaly. This is what you like to see 
uh, when you're mining. So these are all pristine. So Coralite Pristine. Oh my god. Pristami, dude. I love Pristine. Pristine is your friend in this game. Uh, Coralite Pristine gives you four out of one. So you'll get four... Uh, I, I think it's, re yeah, four refined Coralite out of one Coralite ore, if it's pristine. Same with Reknite. Uh, you'll get four out of those. So you're going to want to suck these right up. And uh, Superior, it's going to be, I think that's a Superior ore. Yeah, Superior only gives you three. Still good, take it. The, this is how you get the good stuff real fast in this game. You're going to have to Anomaly Mind and Wild. And I got it out here in like what, like five minutes? Not not even. Very very fast. Obviously, there's still the risk that there are players out here. And there was, but oh, Axnet Pristine. Axnet gives you base of one. Axnet Pristine gives you two. But yeah, I mean that's this Jellium. You're gonna want to take always. You don't see that much in Secure. But if you're if you're here out in Wild, you're gonna want to take everything from these. Uh, Coralite, Jellium, and Reknite are all the most basic ores. Uh, obviously, Coralites, you're going to see that everywhere. Reknite, you're going to see that everywhere. Not as, not nearly as much as uh, Coralite. But Jellium, it's pretty rare to find and secure. And if you do, it's mostly like one or two ores. It kind of depends on if people mine there or not. But Axnet, I'm... Don't know if you can find that in Secure. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure it's Unsec and Wild. And Narcor and Red Narcor, you, only in Anomalies. You will only see Red Narcor and Narcor in Anomalies. I'm pretty sure there's a rare chance you might find them at Planet Anomalies. Or not even Planet, not Planet Anomalies, sorry. Uh, just Planets in Wild only. But if you see Narcor or Red Narcor, Take it immediately. That is, those two are the most rare ores in the game. You can obviously, I mean, you can find anomalies with just those, and you're going to want to, oh, you're going to have to pray to get one of those. But yeah, I mean, this is the AT anomaly. Uh, any anomaly starting with A is a mining anomaly, and drones do not spawn in them. So you'll be fine. Just warp right into it if you see one. But yeah, I mean, that's it for, I mean, uh, that's it for this. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to mine all this because I don't need to. Uh, you guys should mine all of this. Uh, I'm just making a tutorial, but if you guys are out there trying to do your thing, so mine these up. You're going to take as much of these as possible. Now I'm going to warp to two other systems and just explain what the anomalies are. So... Yeah, SP, Spice Platform. Battle, uh, BF is a battlefield. Drones spawn in those. Drones do spawn in those. But ATs, or anything starting with an A, drones do not spawn in those. So you are good. So now we're going to go to Finax. It doesn't matter what system you go to. Try to gauge whether you, you might think uh, players are there. And if you do see a player, just go away from the player. And you should be fine. I'm also gonna show you guys how to get away from players uh it it doesn't teleport you away from them but it will take you out of the game to get away from them i'm gonna show you that in a bit i'm just gonna check anomalies here and then we'll do that so i'm going to so first remember step one when you warp a new system mind your area Boom, no, there's no drones here. I'm good to put down my probe. And once my probe is down, I'm just gonna, those are mines, by the way, on the left. Uh, those little circles, those are mines. If you run in them, you're gonna get damaged or die. Uh, most ships, it does one shot. So don't, hey, hey, oh my gosh, that's a holy grail of accident. That's an only accident anomaly. Uh, I will show you that right now. So, of course, it starts with an A, it's a mining anomaly. If it has another A, it's going to be a accident. So I found something else, I'm looking around. So now, 
I've just found a spice platform. Uh, and now, oh, is it is it mined? Oh, there, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, that is an all accident anomaly. These are pretty rare to find. Not too rare, but they are rare nonetheless. Uh, this is what they look like. Don't some spawn on them. You'll be fine. Mine these up. That's accident. It's really useful. I'm, I'm actually going to take a few. Yeah, I'm going to take a few of these ores. So I'll see you on the other side. His videos are also kind of clickbait. It's like how to get good ships in Starskip. Like, yeah, oh. mine is basically going to be like a, a series type thing. Like from start to finish what you should be doing in Starscape. Like, I'm gonna go into, like, detail. I'm even telling, I'm gonna, and I'm about to teach people how to um, warp log. So, that's a good skill to know, you know? Like, yeah. everyone should know it. So also, when you do this, you, may, you give us less kills, but I don't, really I don't care. care, dude. I'm, I just wanna be famous, no. <laughs> I, I'm making this mainly for my members. Because a lot of them are noobs, and I've recently noticed a lot it. of them are dying to just stupid if it, decisions. If it's no. good, I'll, I'll use it for uh, sure. Yeah. Or you just ping GA, honestly. Yeah, it's, I mean, okay, it's kind of crude a little. I mean, the setup looks kind of weird, but I have it at max graphics, so it's looking hella fire. But, yeah, I'm also, like, any anomaly I see, I'm just explaining what's in it and what to do with it if you're in a miner. Obviously, anything but a mining anomaly, you shouldn't do anything. Yeah, you should comprehensively go over every single anomaly. Well, yeah, yeah every everyone I found right now, this is like an intro to wild mining. I'm going to do an actual wild mining video soon. Yeah. This is like just going in. I'm showing, hey, this is wild. This is how to run wild. Uh, I'm just going to show them what I found. It's and, also wild planetary mining with Kodiaks and yeah. Mako style. Too. And I'm I'm gonna bring on I'm gonna bring on guests later. Like if if I'm doing a player combat tutorial, I'm bringing Cooley on. At like a hundred. Okay, fine. I'll bring you and Cooley. In yes. ritual. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey guys, what's up? So I have my two co-hosts, Cooley and Dean Per. Uh, I would say they're really good at combat. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. But yeah, that, and for alt mining, I'm gonna use tank. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, all right, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that makes sense. Yeah, I, I have a, I've or, like, I've been thinking about this for like a month or two about how to do this. And I'm finally doing it, so. It's recorded with Bandicam, not OBS, because Bandicam, I can pause the video. I, yeah, but I can do in-video in edits, which is really useful. Can you get the watermark on the top? It's, it's not big. It's really small. Right. It, who cares? It's a tutorial video for a Roblox game. I'm not buying that's something. That's true, that's true. But OBS is free. You yeah, but you can't pause. Edit. You just edit and post. No, I'm too lazy. Right. I'd rather do it in game. You know how. Alright, so I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, what it, If you're gonna take a break, uh, do not go AFK. Never go AFK. I said this earlier. Don't do it. Go into your inventory, go into the little door, click on it, log out safely, and just wait. Just wait for that counter to go down. Obviously, pay attention. Don't just leave. Uh, players could come in and kill you. If they shoot you once, this log out thing stops. So you just wait. It's always better to just wait. I've, I know too many people who've died due to just going AFK. Obviously, I'm safe in this anomaly, but if a player warps in, I'm not safe in this anomaly anymore. So there we go. I'm logging out. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so now that I mind a bit of the accident, I'm going to go to a different system, which will... Let's go to Stole. Uh, we're going to warp there. Oh. Yeah, there we go. So we're warping there. I mean, obviously, when I warp in. Sorry about that. I just got a call from somebody. So now that I'm warping to the next system, uh, you know, always keep in mind the first thing you should always do when you're warping in a new system. Look at the player list. 
check your surroundings in the first system you go into, and then start doing stuff. Uh, oh, oh, I accidentally warped into a system I was already in. It's okay, I just warped back. But yeah, I, I mean, always pay attention. That's one thing you should always do in Starscape. You always have like a whole five seconds to get away from drones when you see them. So yeah, we'll get back right into it. Say I'm in a lab. He's like in the top of the map. Bro. Mara. At the top. That doesn't even say Dude, it. I never play cool. public lobbies in that game. It's too it yeah, hurts. I play public sometimes just because well, Just torture I, yourself. I need to start mining, honestly. This is I'm literally mining on my alt right now to get outer MK2. I didn't re I haven't realized how easy it is to get out of MK2. You really don't need much. Oh, yeah, you don't need to do anything. Like, just... I went straight from Otters to, uh... Badger. Ozark. So... So I can't really talk. Yeah. Let me look at Otter again. Otter MK2, where is it? For maybe some of the other tutorials, I won't use my alt because I don't, I don't know if I want to grind out an, a halo on this alt. <laughs> well, no, you just you don't have to go through the whole process. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think I would have. If I really want to commit to the tutorial, maybe I will. I'll be like, all right, guys, today I'm gonna. Then it will turn into a let's play. <laughs> It'll be less of a tutorial, more of like a let's play. Mop leader plays Starscape. What a surprise. Guys, I'm playing Starscape, no way. I've never played this game before. Wow, this is so cool. It's it like low key though, this game is like beautiful beautiful. It's pretty nice. I have never have seen a one hundred plus fleet before. This is my first time playing. Wow, look at this one hundred plus fleet. Oh my god. I this wonder is... who commands it. <laughs> you just see Richard and be like, wow, that guy looks kinda gay. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but he doesn't seem very cool. <laughs> he doesn't seem very cool. <laughs> uh, god. Oh my god, Outer MK2. Getting, like, fighter ships do not cost anything, dude. They are so <laughs> inexpensive. They really yeah. don't cost anything. Honestly, this is what I've been thinking for a long time. After stations, we just start investing into... Elves everywhere, just have fight. Mm hmm. It's an art and always watching. Yes. What are we investing in? Just mega alt. Uh, oh. Like, just, no, just have, like, think about yeah, it. You said art. Fights are so cheap, you can just have, like, 50 fighters logged off at your station. Like, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. no big deal, you know? Like, Illumina like, I mean, alt with tier 4 upgrades. Yeah, I mean, even, like, I mean, Corvettes are expensive, but they're not that expensive. Like, it doesn't take that long to get. Maybe, like, an hour. Like, if we had a system in Wild, it wouldn't take any time. Or, uh, yeah. Station out in Wild, sorry. Alright, I might get back to making the tutorial. I think I got all the stuff I need. Last yeah. time I was on was at the fleet training, so I need to heal. Yeah, but every time I work through an X system, I'm like, all right, so the first thing you want to do is always look around and know what you're looking at, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you can't go, you can't look away from this game when you're warping around. Literally anything can happen. Yeah. Please, not poor. Please. Oh no. <gasps> Don't wait. I think I found some. Oh my god. That's gonna be so. Is it? I think it. Oh! <gasps> you know, I've been telling, uh. There's a friend of mine. Remember that stream I asked you guys to raid that one time? Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I'm like, yo, dude. Dude, you should make a video on Starscape. He's like, no, Roblox bad. And I'm not here. Oh, cringe. He played Cookie Clicker. Shut up. <laughs> Actually, not sure if 
All right, so this is Narcor. This is one of the most rare uh, materials in this game. Uh, if you see it, grab all of it, absolutely everything. You're gonna need all of it and for this. Uh... But yeah, you need to make uh, a lot of upgrades you need this for. Basically anything that's blue or Corvettes, frigates, most of, all of the bigger ships need Narcor. Most of the time, lots of it. And then there's red Narcor. You don't see it here, but it's just Narcor, but red. Uh, it's more rare and more expensive, you could say. Uh, an another thing you should know about this game is selling to players is way better than selling to NPCs. Players will buy material for way more because NPCs just make it too low. Uh, I can actually put a link to the spreadsheet of I think it's Black Sheep Finances. They have a spreadsheet of uh, prices for certain ores. So if you want to get into that field, look down in the description. I will have a link to that there. But yeah, this is Narcor. I'm going to mine all this up, and I'll get back to you guys in a sec. So I'm in the next system now, and I've scanned all... Oh my gosh, warp. Warp, dude! Okay, so there's a glitch that makes it so you don't warp sometimes. Be notified. Just know about that. Sometimes your ship won't warp, so you gotta do it again. But I found an empty. Oh, empties are a holy grail of whatever is in it. So let's look. So this one is an all pristine Coralite ore MT. Any ore that's in this will spawn as MT and it will be only of that ore. So all these ore here are Coralite. And these, if you're going for Corvettes, Frigates, you're gonna want these. These are what you're gonna want. Because th this is gonna give you such a big boost. Uh, I don't know how much exact ore is, like, in this. But, uh, usually on average, most people get about 500 to 600, uh, pristine ore. Which translate to a lot. It, it, a lot. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna go get this monument. This monument in the middle is very important too. We'll see what it gives me. Hopefully it doesn't give me drone damage. That wouldn't be good because I'm not drone hunting. Uh, what I'm hoping for is maybe uh, just a speed, maybe ship fire speed. Hull resistance? Nah. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. But that's an MT. Uh, I think these are... So DH will be a drone hideout. Don't go to that. You're gonna die. Just don't. Uh, that's a. That's just where drones. That's like a living area for drones. I put air quotes because uh, it's a drone hideout. Don't go there. It's not good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to where I came. I'm gonna go back to. I think it was Delta Trous. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back there and go back to the Citadel. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, totally did not die in wild because I went AFK. Another reminder, don't go AFK. Don't do it. It's dumb. I'm just getting some stuff to continue this. But, so, I got my otter. So, okay, another thing. So, when you repack it here, I'll show you. So, I'm going to assemble my otter again because that's what you got to do when you have it. So, I'm assembling my otter. Now, I'm going to... So since uh, you have an up, it, like say I had my tractor beam upgrade still on my ship and I repackaged it in for tour, So I have to have it despawned and I repackage. It says if you have anything in it, it will not, like if you have any upgrades, my tractor beam will not come back to me if I disassemble it. But yeah, that that's that. If you have any upgrades in it, they won't come back. That, there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm going to lower level now. I'm going to go to manufacturing and build my uh, badger. So uh, I usually I would skip auto MK2. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, you need 50. OK, now I got all the Narcor. I finally got all of it. <laughs> uh, oh my god. So now we're going to make a badger. Uh, I skipped Otter MK2 because you, know, you don't need it. You can, but you don't need to. So I'm going to assemble it, and then I got my tractor beam. 
And now I'm going to show you what happens when you are in Gansir. So I'm going to get my ship and show you guys. So we'll get to it when we get to it. So now I'm going to show you guys what happens in Gansir. Uh, in Gansir. I'm going to be following the Golden Accord while they kill. Uh, what, who, what was it? VC? VC. VC, yeah. So uh, th this is a. When you're in the line to go. Uh, th um, this is just a there you go, sir. don't go to don't go to gat or a railret the uh, gat will be right here a railret will be over here don't go there you'll die i'm going to show you what happens who knows maybe ga will die maybe vc will die we'll see all right we're going in boys so this is pretty much the end of this uh tutorial i'm going to show you what happens in gantz here oh, oh. A little bit of they, in combat. Them station, land with them and follow them. Like, oh, yeah, this is. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Royal boys. Here we go. Oh, Bro, boys. I'm gonna kill some of them in my yeah, stratos. I oh, see them. Oh, there are triggers. I beam. saw beam. I saw beam. Beams, there are beams. Oh, they're beam. They're all radixes. <laughs> they're all radixes, boys. They're all what? beam radixes. This is a pleasant surprise. Watch out for the beams. Oh yeah. No. We can take at least one volley. We definitely we, we focus one though. Ah. One's in state. Oh, oh not yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In station. I hope they don't beam me. I'm not shooting at them. <laughs> don't die, Ted. Oh, we should. Oh, what, one what of them's in a dolphin. One's in a dolphin. I'm taking out a counter erotics. Yeah, I'll help you out with that one, Cooley. Uh, yeah, going for you. Sorry, I'm gonna get in the warship. That's scary. Oh, so one of them's in a. Yeah, the car. My car's quite low. They're not going for it, but. I'll get in my Luminar. What are they trying to do? Uh, they might target you, Dave. Just go on your ass. Oh, I got hold. There's two of them in the station. Stop dying. All of you land in the station and kill these guys in the station. All of you, right okay. now. Alright, gotcha. No. Where are my, my Roddicks? All of you land uh, and kill them. Land and yeah, kill them in the station where I am. I'm on, on my Roddicks. Got the mid basic good, I think. In move. Alright. Yeah. Uh, uh, guys are uh, landing. Come on, land. I know what I mean, Where are you? I'm oh, we're in up. the other dock. We're not in the other dock. I'm in, so. I'm in. I'm in the other side. Oh, well, land oh, on this side. They're going to, they're going to the bay. They're going so to the bay. Squad's gonna beat me up. One Bro, of them's going to the bay. around. You guys are thrown right now. Oh, hey, bro. Yeah, let's I go beat him up. Shoot the paragon, shoot the paragon. Shoot the paragon. Bro. Okay, I guess we're going to the other side. Look, right over here. This guy's exposed. Shoot the paragon. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> I'm killing it in my stratos. <laughs> no, they got hold quite a bit there. No, they're gonna kill me. Come on my way. Oh my lord. Oh, I think they left. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, they left. <laughs> I, I was shooting him in my stratos. <laughs> you guys threw when you didn't land in here. We could have killed them. I was trying to go inside. Someone was gonna beam me. You're in the car. I was in the luminar part. Oh my god, it's Roblox user 965. What is All he doing here? All you have to do is fly, if you just fly underneath the station. By the way, it's still under video. Yeah. It's still under video, right? Yeah, yeah it's... Yeah, yeah it's that the two... That was a shit video. Me getting it's whatever, video. dude. It's what happens. Cosmo! I'm not Cosmos. scrapping. It's still gonna be... Murder the Reddit. Alright, so that's what happens when you go into Gats here. Uh, I almost died. Don't, don't kill me. Don't, Wait. please don't. But yeah, I mean... Uh, basically, what to take away from this video is otter is pretty much the thing you're gonna want to get. Uh, jump to badger; it makes it a little bit faster. Wild mining is gonna be the best option if you want to get the most material in the least amount the of time. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be having more videos, and uh, actually, the I I do own a faction myself. So if you'd like to join, there will be a link in the description. Thank you, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys later.